friends, Lucy here. Welcome to Tuesday in Lucy's Kitchen. Today we are gonna bake my home country dessert, which is an apple strudel, or you might know it under the name as an apple pie. Let's get started with preparing our apples. The main ingredient. Cut them, peel them, and grate them. I like to use the bigger eye cutter, but you can also use the side with smaller eyes. Now, here is one trick how to avoid wet and basically falling apart your strudel. Never forget squeezing an extra juice from the apples before using them inside a pastry sheet. You can use them between your fingers or use a clean kitchen towel. Look at the apple juice I have squeezed from only 4 apples. Wow, that's a lot. Just imagine all that would be soaked into the pastry. All right, the apples as a main ingredient for today's recipe are ready. Let's take a set of puff pastry sheets and start to combine all together. First, place a little bit of breadcrumb on the bottom of the pastry. It helps with an extra moisture from the apples even after squeezing some juice out of it already. Next level are grated apples. Leave approximately one inch out of the edges. During rolling the sheet, it will fill up all the spaces and we won't lose any filling. All the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care. Now sprinkle with coconut sugar as a healthier habit or use any sweetener you prefer. Of course, we can't forget the cinnamon. Love the combination of apple and cinnamon. It's like a Christmas, right? Oh man, talking about Christmas in July. Crazy, eh? But the combination of apples with cinnamon reminds me of this festive time. Do you have the same feeling like me? Comment down below to see how many of us have the same opinion. Okay, then we use raisins, or known as well as sultans, over here in New Zealand and Australia. And the last ingredient are walnuts, chopped into small pieces, but that's optional. The sultans are even more yummy when you soak them for about an hour ahead in some liquids like water or even rum. Yum! But I use just how it is this time. Alright, all in. Let's roll it up. Basically, like rolling a rug. After every roll, squeeze the sides so that way we won't lose anything out of the pastry. Then in the end, just flip the ends underneath of the pastry and put it on the baking tray. made all five sheets which needs about eight apples. Before putting the strudels into the oven, brush it with beaten egg. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple. 
Bake this on 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes until they turn golden. Hope you like this recipe and find it so easy as well. Please like this video and if you are not already, consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my new videos. See you again next Tuesday. Bye! Nothing left you think